Okay, um, I wanted to show you what is the future for the uh, the repeated works, how AI is replacing people, and what are the steps left to, to do that. So I think the the final step. So we know that Amazon automate automated everything, like they do all everything, like this robots, as you see. This robots, they come, they type, you see? So everything is automated here. And the same thing is Walmart. Walmart is also pushing. I think they did better because I saw what they did. I worked for Walmart a little bit and I saw their automated conveyors. Um, I think they, they are much better. Um, but be, be, this is new thing. Walmart came up like later, so they looked and figured out what the things need to be considered while creating them. So it's it's very good. But the thing is, one step left in this process. So while all these things like is automated, there is one step left, and this is the pickup line. So as you see. Here, this is queuing. So you see the queue. So the robots are coming. They bring the item. And in the worker needs just to pick up the item and put into boxes. So this is the thing they are doing. So if you see on top view, you see it's very easy. So there's a lot of calculation there, so they are not crashing. So this is very good. And this is how it's close, uh, close look of the same thing. So the worker picks up an item, scans and puts into the box. So the same item comes and she needs to figure out what to pick up. And it, she just picks up. And then again, it will just scan that it's, she's putting it into the box when it's done it says okay bring me another one and then this is the automated part there's no human interaction so on this stage right here what amazon and walmart they don't have is this pickup line so that's why they use human to figure out what needs to be picked up so i think with one change here amazon will and walmart they have the same problem. They will solve this issue. Like if you look, the worker is scanning all the time. They pick up something, they scan. So the problem with picking up this item, uh, these items are need to be trained. So machine learning. Computers don't know what the boundaries of the item is. So computer sees this as a 2D picture and it doesn't know that this is the boundary or this is the boundary. So each item has its own boundaries and machine doesn't know what, what it is. So it can be solved by just adding here cameras. So she's scanning this item all the time here. So she's scanning, she scans and puts. So she's doing that. She says, show me the next. It will show you what to pick up and the uh, machine is just queuing all the stuff are queued. So here, by when she's showing this item to the machine, they can put cameras to take a picture of an item. When they have enough pictures, they can start training computers. And then machine learning comes in. And I think the pickup line would not be a person. It would be the same as here. Some kind of machine will start pick up start picking up the items and bringing and putting into the the same boxes so so i see there are three stages the first stage would be taking pictures and feeding it to machine to train that the boundaries and how the item looks every every item has a skew uh, some number that can be tracked so picking up would be trained here so they scan these items anyway so why not to train to train machine so the second step would be the machines are not reliable they can pick up two but think they picked up one 
So I was thinking instead of putting into boxes, they need to put a conveyor, which eventually put into boxes. But the thing is, when it's passing conveyor, the, the robot can, the uh, computer can look and uh, verify that it's one item. Anything that's like suspicious that it's not in the boundaries, they can send to the to the like human line and the on the conveyor and the person can check it and then verify or if there is anything extra it, the uh, the person will just scan the item and computer AI will learn from that mistakes every time it makes a mistake it it optimizes its answers and it just learns so I think this would be um, it next step for the warehouse um, I have another warehouse idea but I don't think it would fit into this video uh, but the thing is this can be done either on Amazon or um, in in Walmart they have this Bosanova robot so Bosanova robot what it does it just goes uh, goes through the the um, aisles and it just checks whether the item is missing or not. So you can see that um, this was an old robot goes through the aisles and it knows what is missing, what is displaced, and it can just show it. So while here, um, this can be used as a machine a machine learning tool. The Bosanova robot looks at the item and it looks at the SKU number and it compares whether it's empty, it will just send. But these items that are on the, on the shelves, they're a very good material for machine learning. So Walmart has more potential to uh, get all these pictures because one Bosanova robot can just go through all the entire uh, shop and it goes every day, it doesn't stop. I saw one when I was in Arkansas when I worked for Walmart and I know that this thing can go like non-stop. It can go through all aisles, it scans the item and it scans the item and then it um, it like here it it goes through the through the aisle and it shows that something missing or not, then a person comes and replaces. So I think Bossa Nova can be used to go through those aisles and get all pictures. So both of the companies have the potential. The only problem they have is picking up. Robots are not good at picking up. Robots can pick up, but they don't know what the boundaries are. And the training using the, the, the human to train uh, would be would be very good way to optimize. And I think warehouses will drop in, it will, the, the warehouses will be machine automated, like I saw, and it, it just, just saves a lot of, lot of money for companies. So initial investment would be in training computers, doing all, all some, programming but I don't see any problem in creating those things the problem was the picking up and I think Amazon has the same solution and Walmart has better solution they have this robot that goes through all aisles and takes a picture of each item yep that's it